Hello and welcome to The Moment for Tuesday, February the 7th, 2023 from Trinity United Church in Winnipeg. Just a couple of things to talk about today. Um, yes, uh, so overwhelmed with gratitude for all the donations that came in for the Syrian family here in Fort Richmond that we are helping out and you certainly responded and um, it's a really fine example of God's love in action so clear in the world and we are to say thank you. So donations are now closed and Beth will be telling us a little bit more about it uh, in the next little while about what uh, she was able to do which was exceedingly amazing and we're grateful for every gift given and that everyone who responded. Um, we do have something at the end of February that I just wanted to make mention. So a few years ago, we had a trivia night, and everyone got together, we laughed, we played the game, we got together in teams, we ate junk food, and, and um, just had a wonderful time, and we are reinstating the trivia night. So it's Saturday, uh, February the 26th, 7 o'clock, the tickets are $10, and they are on sale now. All COVID protocols will be followed and you'll be safe here. We will ensure that um, uh, everything is followed that we need to. Um, you can come as a team. So if you have six people and you'd like to, you know, get a team, a table, that's great. If you're coming as a single person or a couple, that's wonderful too because we'll match up people and get them all around the table so that everyone will have a chance to be answering these trivia questions. And Karen, our trivia master, um, she will be creating different questions from the last time and it's just going to be a lot of fun. So information is in the um, email that accompanies this video and we hope that you're able to come and just have a little bit of fun. And I understand, so we and Good Shepherd are doing this, and I understand that there will be, you know, five churchy questions from Good Shepherd and five United Church questions from uh, here at Trinity. So um, you have an in on, on answering those questions. So we've got another couple of weeks left for our star words. Uh, and if you'd like to have a star word to take with you and to guide you during Epiphany, please be in touch with the office or with me. We're happy to pick one out for you and let you know what your word is or drop it off if, if you'd like that to happen. These words are meant to guide you in your prayer and your thoughts as you walk and, and do work, as you do the dishes, as you, I don't know, shovel the snow, whatever it is that you do, but um, these words are meant to be a part of your life during Epiphany. And there's still a couple weeks left for you to do so. We do hope and pray that you are doing well. We know that you hold us in your prayers as well. And um, this season of Epiphany has been a long season and one that we've been able to sort of sink our teeth into and just be able to enjoy and think about and really kind of figure out um, where we are on this journey following Jesus. And so I hope that it has been a good journey and that it continues to be. So be well. Be safe. Know that we pray for you. Know that you are loved by God. Amen and amen.